and set up, ready to uh, launch on the bitumen in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes. First tow happening now, that's George getting off, and day's looking good. Uh, I dare think his track along the range maybe, it's more cloud there. Uh, but there's cloud coming in from the west a little bit, that's good. So let's see how we get up. And Warwick traffic on the whiskey for now. Sierra joins mid left down with runway 27. Warwick. So I uh, got off tow headed north uh, towards where the clouds were, but they weren't working that well. And yeah, I'm just above a bit of a sand pit in the bush, and I think that's what this thermal is. Uh, it's not strong, it's just uh, about two and a half knots. Uh, but it's going up, that's the most important thing. I'm just coming through uh, 4,400 now, and uh, there's that sand pit there, and you can see the wind blowing on the water there, so the wind is northwesterly, maybe even a bit west northwest. It's saying 305 at 11 knots on the LX nav. So, uh, yeah, a bit more wind than I thought there would be. Cloud over there, in the start of them. Okay, that's Nigel on it. And that cloud has developed a lot better since I left it. Uh, it came off uh, a bony mountain there and uh, it's drifted towards the airfield. Hopefully Speedy's got enough height to get under it because it definitely was uh, working. Uh, and I'm going to head to that cloud forming over there. It's uh, looking good. So I think inversion may be about uh, five and a half, six thousand feet looking at that. Uh, yeah, so slow thermal but I'll stick with it. Airfield over there. So, I've uh, managed to get over to uh, Alara, um, just above the golf course here, and uh, there is a thermal around, it's, it's very broken, so hold on, here we go, uh, it's saying it's two knots, but it doesn't feel like that, oh, here we go, it's, come on, so, it's probably coming off these fields over here, triggering uh, once it hits the edge of town, probably. And um, north is completely blue. I was expecting cloud today, same as yesterday, but uh, maybe it might happen a bit later, we'll see. But uh, I uh, have my doubts. Uh, blue day and uh, oh, inversion not that high. Um, I haven't hit it gone to the top of it yet but uh, my guess is about 6,000 foot at the moment. Um, option might be to try and fly on the range but uh, cloud doesn't look that high on the other side to be honest uh, so may maybe not worth it but let's see how we get on. Could be that I give uh, Brisbane Centre a call and see if uh, Amberley is active or not. Cloud to the south uh, but just too far away, that's south of, uh, that's probably close to Stanport that is. Um, bit of cloud to the west, not much, but yeah, it's uh, not the day that it was said it was going to be, but we'll see, we'll see how we get on, I'm not complaining. And this thermal's gone to a two knotter now, so that's good. I'll just hopefully climb and get a nice bit of height to head north to Clifton. So just have to use... Yeah, so I just have to use the Fez uh, there because I got uh, about 900 foot AGL. Um, I'm just to the east of Clifton, which is over there. And um, yeah, it was good. I just run the Fez for a couple of minutes and then uh, jagged this little thermal that's uh, taking me up through 4,000 foot now, so that was really handy. Because uh, I had a marginal glide to Clifton, and uh, 
you know, with the use of the fez, it just, uh, yeah, took the worry out of that, so that's good, and, uh, yeah, now I've, it's going into a four-knot thermal, so how good is that? Fired up the fez, uh, just too low, I'm going to head to, uh, Clifton Airstrip, which is just, uh, that direction. I haven't got the height to make a... So hopefully I can get into a thermal on the way. Um, Clifton from there on the left. Airfield straight ahead. So I've had to fire up the fez again. Uh, this is Nobby below me here. And... Uh, yeah, there is a thermal around here, but... I've, have flown through it I'll just head a bit further uh, over to the east here try and reconnect with it so I'm using three kilowatts at the moment which is just their uh, horizontal flying I'm hoping to uh, get a bit more lift let's see here it goes I felt that yeah 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 there it goes so turn in this when the motor's running to feel the thermal so yeah it's just coming off the um, lobby here that thermal so hopefully I can use it and uh, get a bit more height I've still got uh, 50 minutes on the engine at this uh, this RPM and cruising height so it's all good I think the drift's a bit more, so I'm just going to go over this way a bit further. Yeah, there he is again. Well, you can hear the revs going up. Yeah. It's quite difficult to... Uh, one hand with the camera and the other one... Uh, yeah, so... Uh, just stick with it. I'm only using three or four kilowatts, so it's not much power. So I've got plenty in reserve. Down to 104 volts at the moment, so uh, we've got a while yet. Yeah. 